Sunny day here, first day on the car to Astral. Wunderbar, just awesome. After two months in South America, it was time to begin my ride along the Carretera Austral. The Carretera Austral spans 770 miles of rural Patagonia. Via its system of rough gravel roads, the occasional ferry, and even some paved sections, it provides a life link from this part of Chile to the rest. It offers an incredible array of scenery and is often considered the world's best road trip. Because of this, it is a destination for cyclists from around the world, and I would cycle parts of it with friends met along the road, providing a nice break from solo travel. big beautiful fish this is going to be dinner for tonight I'm so excited Yesterday I had to convert from tubeless to tube, tube, I had to put a tube in. Now today I found out I broke a spoke, maybe because I bottomed out really hard when I was losing pressure. Yeah, I broke the spoke right at the nipple, so I have to take out the nipple, which means removing rim tape here. Not a prettier spot to work on a bike, I guess. Alright, I have a brand new spoke. Now I'll just Putting the tube back in, disc back on there, and be all set to go. Where are you guys from? I'm from England. Are you still videoing? See? <laughs> Not long into the carretera, I ran into friends from back home traveling southbound. With no phone signal, we hadn't known exactly when we would meet, but when it ended up being just a kilometer from the morning's camp, we turned right around and made camp again. We then made a day trip to the small little fishing village of Tortel in search of pizza ingredients and wine for a little pizza party that evening. Yeah, on the way here, I was bouncing around like crazy. It's a bit of a revelation for us when we discovered we could make pizza. Yeah. Camping stuff. <laughs> I don't know if pizza is the right word. Oh, it's pizza. Yeah. It's definitely pizza. Can you wash this, Toma? Please. Wash it? Yeah. Ooh, it's fucking hot. Is that one pizza done? We, we still got two slices. All right, just starting out. I don't know, fourth day on the Carretera Astra, uh, with one side day side trip to Tortel. And yeah, beautiful weather, beautiful road, very awesome. It's a fox right here. <laughs> well, vamos. I think we lucked out with this rain, with the sand, you know? It wouldn't be so uh, packed down. We decided to make a side trip to the Glacier Leon. I think it's normally 
really this big, this river. Not satisfied with the previous evening's slog, I had the brilliant idea to bike a section better suited for hiking. Le Glacier Lyon. <laughs> I don't know why it's French now. La Glacier Lyon. Bonita. Toasting bread and smoking out Juanita. Okay. <laughs> Here's the cave. Here we have caveman Javier. <laughs> Seems really cool. You can camp under the cave, shelter from the wind. Just around the corner, you get a view of the glacier. And I'm gonna try some fishing here. So. Despite the relative low traffic, the crazy Chilean drivers sometimes make the route perilous. I was actually struck by a car outside of Rio Tranquilo. Luckily nothing bad came of it, except that I was shaken up. New pavement just outside of uh, Cerro Castillo. And I'm guessing this is what the whole Carretera Trail will be eventually. Guess come and get it while it's still <laughs> washboard gravel and get the full experience. <laughs> this feels really nice and smooth at the moment. After some really, really loose gravel. La Specialidad de la Casa. Rice, cheesy bread with vegetables, tomatoes, onions, garlic, way too much garlic, and hot dogs. I'm pretty proud of my cheesy bread. Look at that, delicioso. I hadn't noticed this insect at the time, but probably ate it along with the cheesy bread. I'm nearing the high point, I believe, of the Carretera Astral. And beautiful.
camped up at the top of the pass, which means I should have about 40 Ks or a majority downhill. So should be an enjoyable way to start the day. Lunch at this little sanctuary for Saint Sebastian. Kind of interesting. It's here in a rural part of the Carretera Astra. The Chilean flag here. And have some flowers. And a little prayer. All right, this jam, which is in that coffee container, was given to me by the lady working at the Mate Museum, but it is one of the most delicious things I've ever had. And it's made from berries that you can't eat until they're processed and the seeds are removed. I'll see if I have the berries. If not, I'll pick some and show you what they are later. Look at that, just absolutely beautiful. And with real peanut butter, it's not very salty, kind of unsalted, so I actually put sprinkled some salt on it. Real PB&J. Bon provecho. Mm -hmm. 